Happy Days Maggie was happy at the Dean's house. Stephen often came to see Lucy. The three young people sometimes went in a boat on the River Floss. In the evenings, they sang together. Maggie, Lucy and Stephen laughed. They were happy. But Maggie and Stephen were starting to love each other. One evening in May, Maggie was sitting in the garden. She was reading a book. She heard a sound and she looked towards the river. Stephen was getting out of a boat. He walked towards her. Good evening, Miss Tulliver, said Stephen. He held up some papers. I have brought these songs for Lucy, he said. Lucy is not here, Maggie said. We will not sing tonight. Philip Wakeham has come to St. Ogg's, Stephen said. I saw him this morning. He will come here tomorrow. Maggie's book fell to the ground. Stephen quickly picked it up. He gave the book to Maggie. Stephen's fingers touched Maggie's fingers. They looked at each other. I must go, Stephen said. Please stay, said Maggie. No, Maggie. Will you give Lucy the songs? Yes. And Philip will come here tomorrow. Will you tell Lucy? Yes. Stephen walked away. He got into his boat. Oh, why didn't Maggie come to St. Ogg's? Stephen thought. I love her. I must not meet her alone. The next morning, Philip Wakeham came to the Dean's house. Maggie was alone. She said, I have spoken to Tom. We shall be friends, Philip. And she smiled at him. A few minutes later, Lucy and Stephen came into the room. Sing your new song, Stephen, Lucy said. Will you play the piano, Philip? Philip played the piano and Stephen sang his song. Maggie was very happy. Her face was beautiful. She looked at Stephen and he looked at her. Philip looked at Maggie too. He understood everything.